to start this uh, city council meeting for Tuesday, April 11th, 2023 at 719 PM. <clears throat> so tonight we are just um, on video uh, with the phone and we will be uploading it later. So uh, if we can please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <clears throat> Council Member Diana? Here. Council Member Antonio? Here. Council Member Ann? Here. Council Member Vera? Here. And Council Member Arturo? Here. So, can I get a vote on the meeting agenda? I make the motion to vote on the meeting agenda. I have a motion by Diana. Second motion. Second by Antonio. Second the motion. Second by Diana. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. So, um, no public hearing. I go A through. Do you have those, Vera? Did you? Did you said A through B. Last, yeah. last week. Okay. okay. So we don't have any of the business as far as that I remember because we did both last week. So we go on no public hearing. So seven is eight business. Yeah, we're just okay. that. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and go on to make <coughs> a discussion of the system tech fiber optic repair. So that's what we discussed uh, that was in the part that we did repair. So we said we were gonna go ahead and um table that table that we do a little more information. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we did a discussion on the splash pad, the location, and um, fees. So we're going to go ahead and um, call to Granger, see what it costs them, and uh, see what. So we get an idea of what we're looking at of the cost. And then Vera's going to call and reach out to somebody as well. Okay. So then we're going to go ahead and go on to D for this. Did you do B, the slot? <coughs> yeah, the slot. Oh, you did the slot. <coughs> no, the slot. Part slot. Oh, B. B. No, no. B, B, sorry. B. So let's go back to B. Uh, discussion of Governor's Park slot. Um, I believe we're going to go ahead and do C, if I'm correct. And we're going to mm -hmm. do the C to end the C. bypass the slot. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dan. Ellen was going to find out if she could get a place for her Walmart. Oh, she said she was going to put her husband to hold you. Yeah. Okay. How much? How much seats are we gonna need? There was there was decks. There was decks. They call like uh, fifteen thousand square foot. Okay. So I just figured out maybe six six decks, maybe like fifteen thousand decks or twenty thousand decks. Okay. At least six decks or seven decks. Yeah. or to D, I'm sorry, um, discussion of cemetery for um, okay, um, Zamora, Zamora. for Zamora mm -hmm. and giving them a reimbursement on um, their plot. Because the mother 
had paid for it years ago, and they had proof of the purchase. And then the daughter came in and was going to pay what we charge now, but we're not. We can't do that. We have to go back and honor in honor of what she paid at, when she paid. It. So that's why. Um, we're going to go ahead and go on to E. Uh, we already did E. Ian's gone for the evening, so we already talked about the empowerment of dogs. I kind of just want to refresh a little bit, and since we do have an audience. Yeah, so Ian is uh, the new code enforcement officer that just started. Um, so his focus right now on the animal issue is, is uh, it hasn't been enforced for a long time, so he's trying to educate, hand out flyers, and gain compliance by information, providing information on what the ordinance is, um, trying to get folks to license their animals so they're not out running around at night. And if they are running around, then we can figure out who they belong to. Um, we did have a, a animal bite, dog bite, probably a week ago. Dog was not licensed, so the idea is we really got to push to get dogs licensed in this town and hopefully that's going to slowly take care of the problem of dogs running out in the street late at night all hours of the day um, i think once a dog is licensed then it's going to cause the owner to keep it you know keep control of it because they're they're they understand that there's going to be a code enforcement out there that if they find their dog they're going to possibly you know they can get fined, so so it's going to slowly, hopefully, take care of itself to where you won't see as many dogs out there. Um, I believe there has been a few folks that are already coming in to get their license, so we're already starting to see a positive impact. Um, and he's also working on uh, vehicles because it hasn't been enforced for a long time. So a lot of it is he's trying to work with everybody. He's not trying to, you know go overboard on it, but he's trying to educate folks on proper parking in this town. There's a lot of cars that are parked on sidewalks, they're parked the wrong direction, um, a lot of junk vehicles, a lot of, so he's trying to work with everybody to, so we can start seeing better, um, what do you call it? So that way the city looks nicer and it's gonna bring everybody's value up when you don't have, when it's, when it looks a lot cleaner out there, so. So can you kind of just tell them what streets have already been worked on so they can kind of take a drive through there and see? I, the I know there was one on Seville, it's right off. Um, the new housing development. Yeah, it, cars were every which every other direction, except right. the correct way. They were on sidewalks and now when I drove through there today, this afternoon, um, there's only one parked the wrong way, but um, I know Code enforcement's working on that. That he told me, um, I'm working with that family, but it's it's a lot of education because a lot of folks they don't know any different and they've never been told otherwise. So there's going to be a lot of education going on. You know, it's he's not trying to you know upset folks, but some folks are going to get upset. But it is what it is. But it's it does look a lot nicer when I drove through there. You know, it looked way better and. Uh, so anyway, so that's what he's working on right now. Okay. So I know we have had a lot of people come in, quite a few come in for dog licenses and asking questions. So anything, if you've had a dog even a month, it's time to get it licensed upon parole. Yes, you have one month if you get a new, a new animal, could be a dog, cat. The biggest focus is right now is the dogs because the dogs are the ones that are biting folks like a week ago. <clears throat> And they're the ones that we get complaints on chasing children when they're going to and from school. So that's the big focus is dogs. And uh, six months after, if they're six months or older, they have to be bagged. Yes, there is a certain age, and and you do have one month to where it has when you get a dog for the first time, whether it be a puppy. Once it hits about a month, then you got to come in and get it licensed. And when you get it licensed, you, you're going to get you know, have it vaccinated and show proof of it. And the idea is if it does bite somebody, okay, at least it's got the rabies shots or whatever shots they may need. So I think it's a plus for the city because it hasn't happened in a while. I don't know when's the last time they had 
any animal control here in town. I, I don't know. So, so I, we did reach out last week. We called up Tri Cities. Um, so we are trying to, because Yakima is not doing anything right now. So we did reach out to Tri Cities last week. So we should know something Friday because they have their, like their meeting, their big meeting um, tomorrow night, which is Thursday. So they're going to let us know Friday if we can start taking our dogs up to them. They won't come down here, so we're like, okay, how about we take them to you? And they're they're fine with that, but we got to he's got to make sure he gets the okay from I guess like their their council or what did you say, Chief? Like they have a meeting. Yeah, they have like a board that board. has to go in front of. For us right now, Ian is educating folks. Go get your shots. Get it taken care of. If it takes you a week, we'll work with you. But get them, you know, get them licensed, get the shots. That way, I think a lot of it will solve itself and you won't see as many stray dogs or loose dogs at night once everybody starts catching on that it's at least being enforced. And the idea is just to get, again, compliance is, is a primary goal right now. Because if folks can comply, awesome. That's what we want to see. Any questions on that? <clears throat> Okay, we're going to go ahead and go on to F, uh, discussion of resolution 2023-13, authorizing the mayor to sign an employment agreement with Larry Buriones in the for position of city clerk slash treasurer. So um, I will need to get a motion. A motion. I make the motion to discuss the resolution of 2013 to sign the employment agreement with um, Larry, Larry, Larry. Larry Brunus yeah. and the, also the position of the city clerk treasurer. I have a motion by Diana. Second by Vera. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. So just to fill you in um, for some that weren't here, Larry's going to start Thursday. Um, he will be working with the city, and he's going to be doing our treasurer and um, city clerk. And um, I let Vera and Councilwoman Diana come in and sit in those interviews yesterday, so they got a, a feeling of what we're looking for, and they were impressed. We really impressed them. So. And this is Larry. And we have Larry here, so. Yeah, <laughs> right there in front of you. Maybe we said through the first board meeting. Yeah. <laughs> so then, um, also, <clears throat> in all of this, we went ahead and I hired uh, someone this afternoon um, who is going to be doing customer service clerk and will be working at the front and. Um, Dazzling. Da Dazzling. 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 Yes. Yeah. I'll go ahead and let you just kind of give a little, you know, let them know who you are. And yeah, so my name is Dazzle and I live in Grandview. Uh, I graduated 2017 at the Grandview High School and I lived in the Valley all my life. So I'm excited to start this new journey. I'm anxious and nervous too, but I'm excited. So this is our council. So this is Councilwoman Diana, Councilwoman Antonio, uh, Councilwoman Ann, Councilwoman Vera, and Councilwoman um, Judy. Judy. So they're the ones that make decisions, you know, um, when it comes to financial. He so. went away with the big hat. <laughs> and then he, she I met all everybody this yeah. afternoon. Oh, okay. it, was, yeah. it was a lot for her. So I just didn't want to leave you out, Chief. So, um, and then this is Larry. So Larry's going to start Thursday. Okay. And so. She starts next Monday. Okay. So um, the interview that we had with her today, me and Judy, it went good. It was what we're looking for for the city, and um, it's it's going to be good because you know Yuli and her will be working close together, and um, really both working close with Larry as well. So you know, and help them out. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome, you guys. Well, and I told them you did have family here in Mathis. No, you might want to let them know who your family is. Yeah, so I have family, the Cisneros family. Oh, so, yeah, Ruby mm -hmm. and I don't remember his wife's name for some reason. And Helita. 
I'm not really close to them, but yeah, but you know you're related. Yeah, okay. and when that's I see them, you know, so yeah, I'm better than that's who I I was kind of wanting to tell them like, oh, they're just kind yeah. of let you know. Yeah. So. Now we have a lot of a lot of family too, and we don't know. We just know they're related. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice to have you on board, both of you. Thank you. Thank you. So we're going to go ahead and go on to six. So the discussion of um, the mayor's stipend. Okay. So. Well, I bring it up last week. I went to see the mayor, and then I saw her, you know, working all twelve hours a day. And I went the next day, she was busy the same, all day long, by herself, nobody there. I said, well, it looks like you're in charge already for the city hall. And I think that I agree that she is deserving of race already. So I hope everybody's going with me and, and we can figure out something for the mayor. You should figure out the amount you're talking about, too. What are you talking about? Are you talking about? I say maybe at least sixteen, seventeen hundred bucks per month. I beg yeah. your pardon. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I agree with that. Sixteen or seventeen hundred per month. You can't go from seven hundred to sixteen or seventeen hundred. We did it for Laura. Oh no, we didn't. Yeah, you no, did. we gave Laura well, one stipend. Um, we're going to have a difference between one rate. time. No, you did it for months at a time. No, we did not. You better read your paper. I will. Yeah, she did okay. it over months. Because that did not happen. We did give her a stipend, a one-time payment when she was working as a wastewater treatment plant. She was. So she did it for like six months. Well, we need to go and give. Well, anyway, you guys know how I feel. So well, I'm going for the race for Rachel. I think she deserves, and she's put a lot of. But she's. You need to put. Tony needs to put it into a motion and put the amount, please. Okay. okay. Just to I'm make it. I'm going to go 1700 like we to. gave the other mayor. 1700 That's so what I'm going to do. I put a motion for, you know, for the race for the mayor for $1,700 a month. If you, I know, second the I motion. Um, I third the motion. I have a motion by Antonio, second by Ann. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Aye. Okay. Motion carried. So um, we're going to go ahead and go on to mayor um, and councilman member reports. Um, do we have any requests from council members? No, I do want to say that you did a really good job for that Easter yeah. hat. Well, that was you. way better than last year's. There was like 40 this. I think you got like 400 people. Yeah, we had a lot of kids out there this year. A lot. We did like 40 kids last year, 40 to 50. But this year we did. We had almost 400 kids. We had. We had. 2,553 mm -hmm. and we hit along with 4,239 pieces of candy is what we, I think we put out in that Easter egg hunt and um, the library was included she did get quite a few kids after after the hunt so it was good that. it was really good I was really, so, I was really uh, impressed with all the yeah. people that we had people from Prosser, Prosser Tomish, Ranger, Sunnyside. Yeah, we did. We had a good turnout. So mm -hmm. next year, hopefully, it'll be bigger and better. You know, mm -hmm. we'll work on it. Um, also, um, I know the chief has brought to my attention he wants to do a summer bash, him and the sergeant do. Um, so I've been calling around. June is pretty booked for stuff, but Sarge, um, we can shoot for July if that works for you. Yeah, and. The biggest thing is the weather, so we want it to be nice. the, the best chance that we're not going to have any overcast and rain. Okay. So June, July yeah. is what I'm hoping for. Yes. Yeah, so. um, but it, even if we have like a kind of like the the um, the uh, what was that the national there you go national night out similar to that where we try to get. Some cars out here where we try to get. Uh, well, Vera said she could. Uh, I brought it up to Vera because they want to be involved, and I feel that was fine. Jimmy can get involved. You know, the more help, the better because yes. you came to me with this, and I was like, whoa. Well, the, the idea is getting folks to come out mm -hmm. so everybody, kind of like National Night Out, is come out for a community event, bring your family, bring your kids, all try to bring the cops. Mm -hmm. for that, for that security. 
Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll invite other agencies and the idea is to have fun. That way, you know, it gives them something to do. Social and that way everybody lives together. Let's go enjoy and get to know each other. Similar to National Night Out. Only it's going to be in, in June, July is what yeah. I'm hoping for. So I did reach out to um, Blaze from Hot 997 today. And um, he said he could come and give us two hours and do a promotion for us. So that's good. Um, and then we, I did reach out to a um, person that sets up like a sound system. And he's willing to set up for 300 And we do have money from the Chevron that donated for last year. And we said we'd use it for whatever else we needed so we could pay for that. And then we were going to see about getting like two or three bands to come in and donate an hour and do um, airtime if we, you know, we can. Okay. So. And as far as, it's not going to be a car show, it'll be a show and shine where people just bring their cars out mm -hmm. that, you know, yes. they take a lot of pride in. And maybe we can get some motorcycles, Harley Davidson. Yeah, Harley's motorcycles, trucks, cars, cars, cars you know, cars, anything just bikes. to bring people out so they have a reason to come out. And then we'll work on getting food that way, mm -hmm. you know, where there's food, music, and cars, and it, it kind of brings everybody together, I think. Um, is the park going to be available so down there? Because I'm um, already wanting to use that. Uh, <laughs> if we, we, we get it ready, it'd be nice yeah. to have it over there, because that's where we used to hold the community Yeah, that days. would be great, right there in the But we have right to do the then. No. Yeah, we have to do something. <laughs> <laughs> well, we no, if we get it planted oh, right now at the at the governor's, we could probably start over here. This are it's just going to depend. What about the big park? It's not. I think. Well, well you know, we have to really wait because I don't know what we have on the board for um, the park and run. I mean, the main street. I'm not sure when they're starting. Oh, that's true. So I think they're going to start from maple this way so if they start oh. like that then we can have it in this area downtown and at the zell yeah so we'll play that by ear and i have when, it when do they start the, the main street do we have a date for when they start no, I don't know. they say I early may. may they say early may, they said early may. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah early may or the latest mid june yeah so i'm thinking i vote on the board may 8th if mm -hmm. i'm correct on the board yeah, board. and they're still working on a couple more. Yeah, um, we're waiting for some more things. More things. Some more, like, yeah, like yeah. with Pacific Power, they're still um, arranging things with them, and um, they'll getting the, they'll get us like an exact date, date once they have everything ready to start. So, so that's what we'll keep trying to figure it out as we go. And reach out to Vera. Okay. Huh? She, he can reach out to you so you guys can get your oh, yeah. their groups up I'm and going. Sure. Yeah. Because this is your part. So I need everybody's help. Else. I know. It just, right now. It, yeah, because there's a lot of things that are going to be going on. So. Yeah. But so I I'm need just, to bring something else up because um, we wanted to know where uh, they could put the bench. Is that what oh, you want? Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you guys are ready. I thought April was going to have a meeting with you. Who? April. Oh, no. Ben's daughter. She has not She has a call. Has anybody called? April. Mm -hmm. right over Probably waiting for what we may meet with them. Yeah, they're not laying headstones right now or anything. Said to me, is she like to have it by the tree out here? Like, which tree? Right. You oh, know, right there right in the grass. grass. Uh huh. Somewhere yeah. Right so there. I know we're not doing any headstones right now, just due to the weather. Mm -hmm. So is it here already? Yeah. Well, oh. it's not here. here. It's April. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, we can we can uh, go ahead and talk to the guys. Um, if everybody's okay with them putting it right here in front of the tree, I'll get you April. Okay. Yeah, um, that works. You know, and I think this part, this little area looks real nice during school. We can get all the kids here. They come and sit here for lunch, so it'll be nice. That day. What's that? Duck Day is the 22nd. Who's helping? April. So we have um, two of the workers, or three of the workers are going to be here. And then I don't know if who wants to come and do it from council. Who wants to? What time is that from? From 9 to 1. I'll, I'll let you know. Okay. I just have to check it. And, and so what day we planning? What day? April 22nd. 22nd. April 22nd. Yeah, it what day is the weekend though? Saturday. Saturday. From uh, 9 to 1 p.m. Uh, Julie, you're not going hunting, so you have to be here. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's it's nine to one. So we'll have somebody out there uh, collecting appliances, stoves and refrigerators, no tires. Do they take air conditioning? Yeah. Okay, good. 
And so um, then no, we will no have the tires. No, yes. tires. no tires. So um, I know flyers will be going up hopefully tomorrow. Um, Chief, so you need to have your um, guys come and get the flyers. They can start going and putting them up. I know they've been having some out, and people have been taking some from the city hall, and it's posted at um, at the door at city hall. So um, we have that coming up next. Uh, do we have yeah, it's yeah. on there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what does it cost for somebody to take? So it's fifteen dollars the first load, seven dollars additional, and I did put it on um, not to come together page, and I did put in big black bold letters no cash because I know people were bringing cash last time, and we're like we don't take cash here. They're like, yeah, and they're like, well we paid last time. I'm like, last time was not us. Mm. No, we never no. paid. Yeah, so. Every piece. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. We know, but I'm just. Yeah, he, they're like, well, we, they took cash last time. I'm like, we don't take cash here. I'm sorry. So I put it in big black bull letters on my page. No cash. You be, you'll be billed for it. So do you bring your water bill? Yeah, you need your water bill water and your bill ID. Last month, so we know what address you have. So do you bring all your dump stuff up here and you guys put it in the big truck? Yeah. Or does somebody take it? No, you bring your stuff. Really? Yeah. So I know we did last year, or what did we do in the fall, Vera? Didn't we, we say did we could help elderly people if they needed it? And we were okay with that, if the council was okay. I just don't want people to say, oh, well, you're only picking and choosing. Well, we're not picking and choosing. I think if we but just... Uh, elder, we could extend that to elderly, home down, or one or person, something like yeah. that. Just two people in the house. They don't have any young people that live with them. Or, yeah. Yeah, because so, we could get... And nobody did it. Nobody mm -hmm. called the city hall. Really? Or nobody took okay. advantage of it. So then there's, like Sir was saying, um, well, I think how this all happened because I told my husband, we have to get that backyard cleaned up because we're like somebody shipwrecked back there. Mm -hmm. But we have mattresses that got soaked. They need to be, so yeah. we don't have to haul it clear to sea there. Or whatever. Yeah, just goes we just bring it down uh, here, down here, and on top of the truck, and you guys could do yep, it that the way. guys will help you. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then that would be fifteen dollars, or do we even find more stuff to load yep, in there? Yep, and then so you're, whatever you can put yeah, in it, whatever you can put in your first truck, it'll be fifteen dollars. Okay, and then good. if you're like, oh, I still have more, then that'll be seven dollars. So Anything just after sure. the first load is seven dollars additional. So really, oh, that's up your truck. Yeah, are you limited on how many times you can go back? Can you come back five other times, seven, yep. seven, seven? seven. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> what people try to do, though, is they try to be a, bring a big old trailer. So that's where we're like, no, trailers at least 20 bucks because they come packed. Yeah, each yeah. wagon each wagon is, is one price. Maybe a truck and a trailer, yeah. wagon is 15 and yeah. truck so, is 15. And, we're, and we're not making any money. I mean, we still pay out of pocket for the city, but the thing is we need to get the city cleaned up. Yeah. So we want more people that volunteer to clean up. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you guys can let me know if you guys want um, the guys to go around with the trailer and pick up like the night before, you know, mm -hmm. just Did basic have and have it ready in the morning. That could be a possibility, people's houses that you can't bring it in? Well, no. Okay. And not people that can't bring it in. The elderly people, like two people that can't bring it in. So not just because they don't have a trailer. Yeah. No, <laughs> they have to be like, let's say one is in a wheelchair, the okay. gentleman's in a wheelchair, and the lady, she can't pick up the mattress. Okay. So then we right. would send the guys out there to do it, or, you know. Okay. But it won't be like. Yeah, I'm, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, that's so enough. I'm not sending somebody to Larry's house, gonna, because I know Larry could do it. You know yeah, he can do it. <laughs> it's not going to be like, hey, I was out late last night, I'm going to sleep in, can you guys No, I know, but. Like uh, but um, <laughs> <laughs> Any reports, Healy? Staff reports? No. Chief? Nothing? Okay. Anything from anybody else? Okay, so we'll go ahead. Uh, Bill, do you have anything to add? Uh, no, thanks. Okay. We kept you long enough. <laughs> okay. We'll go ahead and adjourn this meeting Thank you, at 749. Thank you. Have a good night.